Pigs are reportedly running rampant in a Venice community. The Jacaranda West Country Club Village has recently reported wild hogs tearing up residents' yards. As I said, the uh, ambulance just left, a fire truck just left, and there's a firefighter there right now, uh, but uh, everyone is out safe. And we're live tonight. David Williams, first Ooh, post. That was scary. Sorry, a light just blew out. <laughs> I'm fine. It's just, it's like dripping stuff. It's okay. Okay. It's like, uh, not good. Another dangerous game kids play is to tunnel in snowbanks near the road. A few years ago, one boy actually. Live outside our studios in New York. I think I heard you say there's also another storm coming, Rick. Right? There's a potential nor'easter on Thursday for the northeast as well, and there's another blizzard I'll show you on the map uh, coming towards the central plain. So we're in a, a very active weather pattern right now, but we're not done with this storm just yet. Talking about historic snows, Portland, Maine at 29.3 inches. A little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. Come on, Gordo, come no, I can't. Oh my God. This is Helga. Come touch her. <gasps> oh my God. Here's the big pic. Excuse me, big picture. We've all had the hiccups before, right? Cy Cypress to Copperfield as well. 536. Excuse me. Scattered showers and a couple of th thunderstorms during the overnight. Uh, compared to heavy rain. <laughs> excuse me. A re record low temperatures. <clears throat> all right, so I've got my trusty stopwatch, and here they come down the hill. It looks like Ruben is in the lead, and here comes out. Oh, that was a bad idea. At Riverside Park, Rob Black, Global News. Там внизу в потребных помещениях сюда давно уже. Блять. It is a sloppy, slippery mess. Oh, watch out, sir. Okay, I'm so sorry. And we've just watched this gentleman. This is what happens when you're. Uh... You can fall very quickly here. But one of the things I've never experienced when I'm out doing a snowy shot is getting hit with a snowball. And what you do is you chase these guys. Between the, uh, the teleprompter and... Uh, Looks like we're having some, the yeah. Song singer got mispronounced and the flaps started trending online. Luckily for Menzel and the songs, uh, Travolta's introduction had no influence on Academy voters last night. Uh, that was a hugely... Popular. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm, yeah, I'm just mouthing you because the camera's yeah, on me. Yeah. So, <laughs> I will now take the next story. I'd be happy, man. Rangers to me are a sinking ship. And we'll check back in with Tom in just a little bit. In the meantime, that rain is definitely. <laughs> <laughs> there goes a couple of clouds demonstrating what I said. <gasps> what I said hitting us. All right, there you go. Here comes another one. See? There they knocked it. Four plow trucks. Four plow trucks. And you can still still snow covered, so fifteen years they said he hasn't had to close and he's already closed twice so far in two thousand fourteen. The wind is beginning to pick up here in Lowell and again, not really more accumulating snow, but just a biting granular kind of slutty excuse me, slushy, icy snow. I just got off the phone with the first energy spokeswoman. Whoa. And we just got hit with a blast of snow from a plow truck, but anyway. All right, you, you know what? I gotta start this bad boy up. May I? Yes, you may. Okay, I'm gonna start it up. Let's hear this kitty purr. I think the door has to be shut. Does it? Foot's on the brake, I'm pushing it down. Do I need the keys? Yes, are they not in the car? They're not in the car. They're over there. What? Here, the keys are coming. The keys are coming. I got it. There we go. I can't. It's not working. We were it earlier. In practice, this worked. Sorry. Sorry. We'll, we'll send it back to you, and I'll just pretend like I'm driving this. I believe that's what we would call an epic fail. <laughs>
It's a Jaguar. A Jaguar. A Jaguar. And the expo runs from today through Sunday. And do you plan on visiting, dear John? Yes, I do. I'm going to sit down on some, uh, 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 what do you call it? <laughs> Corinthian leather. Yes, I am. Have you been out driving? What are you, writing a book? Yeah. Well, leave that chapter up. <laughs> I've been over to VA hospital. Yeah. They canceled the appointment mm. because the <laughs> couldn't get out there. What are you doing with that <laughs> <laughs> Channel 2? Get out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> All right. Tell your boys, tell your boys to quit repeating so much of the same damn thing. All right. Hey, listen. I know you're going to block all this shit. Well, no, we're going to play this one. You're out of your gourd. <laughs> you know how to do St. Patrick's Day and make it hot. Wait a minute. Where's What's yours, that? Bob? Mm. You know what? Bob made all those, you guys. <laughs> Did you do that? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Whoa! All right. That's whoa, an earthquake. Whoa, 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 Yeah. And that's a big one. Wow. Okay. That is... A big earthquake. Uh, obviously, we felt it here at the studio very strongly. Please, I don't know. This is here along Ocean Boulevard, which you can see behind me. Tell me, they are some of the hardest hit spots. I'm the <laughs> A lot of these commuters having to deal with losing their home oh, or their car. He was and then, the excuse us for a second. They are making an effort to make sure that people. Excuse me, madam. Does die for any reason. I'm sorry about that. We do have some strange characters down here at the High Court. In the next hour or so, business still not completed here. Chris Hewton, the manager, still here on site. have said it all day long and uh, what they want they want people to come out here and have a good time but they want people to be safe and be responsible that's the latest out here tim in northeast philadelphia claudia rivero nbc 10 news all right claudia thanks we better tell that guy right behind you the scammers may have taken hit at jacob's life savings and possibly her life oh. Oh, 10 seconds later, the second explosion goes off, according to the FBI, at the location where he dropped his, please don't do that, where he dropped the, uh, where he dropped his knapsack. Shepard? Auditors last year found the state. Hello, nice to see you. Uh, hello. Hello. Arsenal. Mm. Oh, that's the villa. Oh, He's mm. a Villa fan. He's happy. Uh, they've held these against the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea and West Ham. Lam <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's sexy. <laughs> really rowdy revelers out here, but hey, we're coming into 2009. Excuse me. All right. Here in the downtown area, restaurant and bar owners are concerned primarily with the rise in violent crime. <laughs> Still fun to watch. Police have just stopped because of your reporting. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. All right, Something that's well. gone on for a decade and you've ruined it. Okay, okay. Well, 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 well. And the crowds get a little rowdy as the night goes on, as you can see. If you're looking for some other fun things to do around Southern California, uh, this guy apparently found one tonight, go to our website, NBCLA.com, <laughs> and search around town. I know this guy. Different atmosphere here in this pub now than there was when we got here at 8 o'clock this morning. Now, it's a different crowd that are here now. It's starting to fill up with football fans. But when we got here this morning, it was full of Andy Murray fans, hoping beyond hope that this, his third Grand Slam final, would be third time lucky for him. But it just wasn't to be. And local people here are very disappointed, but also extremely proud of Andy Murray. And they say, remember, well, he didn't win. Well, he made it to the final, and he made it to the final. Final this time last year, the same the Australian Open final where we were all here then and we'd all had our fingers crossed for a different outcome this time. Now we've been told not to lose heart at all. Some of the greatest tennis players of our time, amongst them Andre Agassi, didn't win his first few shots at a Grand Slam. It happened for him later in the day. I knew that I'm... 
for all the wrong reasons. One, their leading scorer, Carmelo Anthony, 27 plus points a game. Out, at home, draining his knee. Joe Kim Noah coming up huge in the final four minutes of this game. Offensive rebounding also key for the Bulls. They had 20 boards on the offensive side on the night. There is no sand. It's hitting up against the seawall. And also we're worried about that tidal flooding in other areas. They want everybody who doesn't have a reason to be outside uh, in, inside their home. You heard from the mayor who said a number of people haven't left. That worries them. But at this point, if you haven't left, don't go out. You probably can't get out of Atlantic City anyway because the roads have become overwashed. Well, this seaport's a lot more than just shopping. I mean, yeah. it's a neighborhood and there's so many different places you can hang out. You can just come and be by the water. All you right. can take a boat. If you could stop waving for a second. Quite an accomplishment for an, accomplishment for an 11 year old, I think a lot of people are uh, pretty jealous of. And Gail said all of his classmates are very jealous. And as I just mentioned ago, we don't know if the Patriots are going to the Super Bowl. I think as of right now, listening to all of the fans and uh, fans behind me, um, they don't uh, really care about that at this point. They're focused on this game, this huge win, this record-breaking win for uh, Tom Brady uh, with all these touchdown passes thrown tonight. Uh, definitely a very incredible game. Here. Football, looks, football. looks some Johnny <laughs> football fans here already. Look. I think, I think John, this is live. Yes. And you guys. Yeah, Johnny football. Yeah, Johnny football. Hey, you guys, I think we're with Johnny football. We yeah. are. We yeah, are. Yeah, I know. See, I can, I can tell. I, I read the blogs for sure. <laughs> You know Johnny. See. How do you feel about the game? What How do you, you feel about the game? I feel like A and M is gonna do a great job because Johnny just got the Heisman. This is why I like you. This is why I like you very much. <laughs> you, like you yeah, very these much. are high, high-minded fans for sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, what do you think about the game? I'm, I'm all for A and M. Oh my. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh you guys, my. We are live, right? Are you now really look, I, I do, I do think we're talking about getting into the ACC this year. I don't think okay. anybody, anybody thought that we're gonna do this well. No. But no one, no one knew anything about Johnny football at that point. So once he started going, then you know the fact that we won 10 games in the SEC was incredible. And I, you know, Gina, I was always for the move to the SEC, not because of any poke in the eye to the University of Texas. I just like the fact that we were able to control our own dest destiny as a university and get into arguably the best conference in uh, in college football. So it's well, been that. an exciting room. A, a year, yeah. I think Johnny's gonna do a great job tonight, and Giga Maggie. All right, well, Giga. We're going, yes. we are going to win. We have always been great in this, like SEC. We've been great in the SEC. We have like definitely found our spot in the SEC, so we're going to win. Oh, you have nothing on us. Come on, y'all. I could not have said it any better. Na hraní se o těch ještě předpokládám budeme hovořit. No, Luboši, máš tam veselost, zkusíme ještě jednou. Ty problémy mě zprevádzají. Jediné problémy, které byly byly v průběhu noci, když skupinka asi 300-400 vpíněný z druhého státu, pravděpodobně vyhostěný zo Slovenska. Okrem toho, že tu máme teraz malou kulisu, i fanoušikou se ale nič neděje a je relativně pokojná situace na to, Polícia tvrdí, že má situáciu pod kontrolou, že by A Полиция Канады обнаружила плантацию марихуаны, охраняемую 13 черными медведями, сообщает The Canadian Press. Помимо медведей, на территории фермы, где росли более 2300 кустов конопли, также находились большой пес, вьетнамская веслобрюхая свинья и енот. По словам полицейских, когда они обнаружили плантацию, то увидели, что рядом с грядками марихуаны сидят. Фу. Полиция Канады обнаружила плантацию. Ты кидал, какого там свинья делала? А так серьезно начинала. Полиция Канады обнаружила плантацию марихуаны, охраняемую 13 тысяч. Ой. Полиция Канады обнаружила плантацию марихуаны, охраняемую 13 черными медведями, сообщает The Canadian Press. Помимо... 
прикольная информация. А пропустить нельзя? Ой. Полиция Канады обнаружила плантацию марихуаны, охраняемую 13 черными медведями, сообщает The Canadian Press. Помимо медведей на территории фермы, где росли более 2300 кустов конопли, также находились большой пес. Ендамская весла. Помимо медведей... Галюша, быстрее надо переключать. Помимо медведей на территории фермы, где росли более 2300 кустов конопли, также находились большой пес, вьетнамская веслобрюхая свинья и енот. По словам полицейских, когда они обнаружили плантацию, то увидели, что рядом с грядками мрихуаны сидят медведи. По словам полицейских, когда... Еще раз. По словам полицейских, когда они обнаружили плантацию, то увидели, что рядом с грядками марихуаны сидят медведи. И тоже курят. known for their love of swimming, but one feline in northern Virginia is hitting the water instead of the gym in an effort to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. But with encouragement from her owner and weekly visits to the old town pet resort, <laughs> Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We've got a lot more to go. <laughs> good morning. Let's begin with the stock market. So far, so good. Uh, Warren. Oh, I am thinking that he lost. Sorry, Q, you having a, a little difficulty here. That's okay. We'll look at this. Uh, yeah, what's going just on. came unplugged, but uh, you right. know that's live TV, and we're getting plugged right <laughs> back in here. So I'll be able to hear you in just a second. And. Uh, there we go. A female officer noticed the handle of a revolver sticking out from inside the woman. It was a five shot uh, revolver. It was loaded. And as she turned around, she saw uh, more plastic baggies, larger plastic baggies uh, wedged in the uh, crack of her buttocks. What? Uh, authorities say the woman has a long criminal record. She now faces drug possession charges and charges for trying to smuggle a gun into jail. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Who doesn't have that? The old caboose <laughs> pistol. Everybody has one. What are you getting all worked up over? They don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> did, you just, did you just say caboose pistol? I know some women who could hide a machine gun in there. Yeah. As we go back down to the south, Mostly clear, huh? Oh, my broom is backwards. Oh, that was on purpose. I don't get much practice at being a witch. Here we go. As we scan across... Oh! <laughs> this is Prime News. First at 5.30. Kia ora, good evening. At 7 o'clock. More Very hairy times. <laughs> <And she's> like, <laughs> Who are you and where is he? <laughs> Thanks, James. Calming overnight tonight and, by the way, 31 days. 31 days until spring. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. That was a garden gnome. Let me open up the iris here and show you this photograph. You might be able to see it there. So what's happening... Oh, sorry, the, the gentleman who handed me the phone is getting a phone call from his mum. До окончания основного времени матча. Че это? Где сюжет? И чё теперь? Может вы скажете, что я попрощался и все? Да она и Фридушка уже готова, да? Она не здесь, кстати? по бо бо по бо 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 Надоело! Надоело!
Yeah. I have been here since what, 3.30 this morning? Yeah. And it is now, I don't even know what time it is, 9.45. I'm exhausted. I've run out of things to say. It is <laughs> snowing and it sucks here. <laughs> están fluctuando entre los 80 hasta los 90 grados. Es, eh, parece que tenemos un problema, me imagino con las luces, pero no se preocupen. Seguimos con el tiempo. Las temperaturas para hoy van a ser aproximadamente de, de 100, de 100. Tuesday, 59 degrees. Wednesday, 50... <laughs> There we go, that looks good. That looks good. 63 oh. on your Saturday. And uh, temperature-wise... <laughs> There, there we go for the Orange County coastal areas. Look at that. They're oh. doing a fantastic job. Yeah, it's chilly. That's right. 59 degrees uh, today. Wednesday, chance of some rain showers. Suddenly, Sam's like, why did I get into the entertainment business? A she kawota tianyat bachim vodnam arteria, maktota da volstvit. Are you watching another stock in video? Right there in the middle of your screen, um, and you can see there are that one dog. Congratulations on your big Hooters, uh, the uh, Hooters oh, win. You said, wow, that was a slip of the tongue. The team started slowly not picking up Portland's uh, double penetration. Trust me, you're going to love my one-eyed monster. Uh, Northwest began serving penis, peanuts this month. Georgia is the top penis pre pre peanut producing state. Here's a black talk helicopter. Black talk helicopter. Tanya Mosley is live at the park where protesters are set to pinch tits. Tickets online at Pick a Dick. Pick? Oh, <laughs> no. Well, you're thinking about sausage. <laughs> so. Sask Energy is announcing a proposal to jack off, uh, up the cost. Broward Sheriff's deputies arrest a man who they say has more pussy than he can handle. Matt Boner, Tiffany Thiessen, and Tim Decay are the stars of White Collar. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> that would be Matt Boner. Yeah. The Bronx section. Sound more likely to give her a curb job than a blow job or a blo block party. He claims they contain an orgasm. <laughs> Their third straight loss, 6 4 to Philly last night. Penis Pete Hornish on the mound next night. Indicated and helpful. Dr. Janet Taylor. <laughs> Inviting the cold and warm air asses, uh, warm air masses. <laughs> I contacted Kathleen Zellner, who took Ferguson's case pro bono. Bono. Grab a hot cock, cock, uh, cup of cocoa. The police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock, top cock after a cop. That is, we checked the booby, uh, buoys out shore. If you want to log on to myfoxandwhy.com, you, <laughs> you get many spankings as a kid. Uh, as a kid, no. No, I'm, I'm, no wait. Wait a minute. Wait a I mean, minute. Wait a minute. On the KTLA Morning News recently, this big showdown between the titties, uh, the cities, too. That was an awful, awful, awful word slip. In, in Washington, D.C., and also at the Penis Museum in Santa Rosa. She says it worked for her. So she's enjoying penis a little bit more, is she? It really is. Gross. So Mike has been sucking on, sucking on this cough, cough drop for a our Zane Virgie loves chocolate. One of our main kids oh, nice melons behind you there. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about things like the soy milk, right. you know, That's, the rice milk. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, what else are we going to call it? Soy That's, juice? You can't well, do that. Soy jism. So the day to make your weekend like plans. It. Takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. I guess that's me. <laughs> Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. All that. right. Round Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tonight. The Huskies are the 2014 NAACP national champs. Wilson, we want to co host with me? We brought grapes. Here, here you go. Oh, look, look what there. I got. There's a grape. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. And oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to grape. tease you. I didn't mean to tease you. I'm I sorry. I think you just got told by a monkey. I did. We zijn hier in Kampen, een van de drie prachtige historische Hansensteden in de IJsseldelta. Want hier wordt binnenkort het grootste paasevenement van Nederland georganiseerd. Seal Kampen. 
Burgemeester, wat is er nou zo bijzonder aan Seelkampen? Als je de mooiste... Oh, Jongens, dat gaat, dat, gaat, dat gaat niet goed. Deze kant op. Nee. Probeer. Ze die zich in de verandering zijn in de verandering. Bijvoorbeeld, ze vervangen dit. Maar niet iedereen heeft het. Szép számmal érkeznek a további üzenetek, idős Balázs Lajosnak születésnapja alkalmából grat. Dinner outside. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> he can't do that up here. They can be up here, but that, okay. That I should have put the dance. You, you got to stop that, Mara. <laughs> All right, let's go to this. Speaking of babies, we want to congratulate 10 on 10 photo journalist Joe Baker and his wife, Colby, on the birth of their daughter. How about it? Oh, Stella. look, she's beautiful. Good golly, look at her. She was born yesterday, weighing in at 8 pounds, 12 ounces. <laughs> this is some action going up on in here. And congratulations, <laughs> Joe, and we're so excited for you. <laughs> we will announce the third rabbit's name in nine months. <laughs> About two to four inches of rainfall in the, sh in the county shaded in green here. Yeah, it, yeah, it was, oh, whoa. Jeez, I'm sorry about that. The wind just blew me over. We're going to throw it back to you guys. All right, save the, the shake. Studio. Save the chocolate shake. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Rick Mecklenburg. Three after seven, here's... Oh! Sorry. Okay, that was scary. That was right. Let me tell you something. We had a light pop, and that was not <laughs> no, that pretending was not. or being dramatic. Oh, no, let me tell you something. That at, was... least, at least you handled it well. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We had a light pop. <laughs> you I wasn't him? even ready for the that. The thing is, it's that like was... it popped, he yelled, and then grabbed his heart. <laughs> and it looks like we might have some snow that day. Oh. No way. I know. That's April 7th. I know. Sorry. Worst winter ever. Rena's gone. <laughs> Worst winter ever. <laughs> Take your hand. Okay. Wave it over the key. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's, that's, oh, you, you have the key though. You do have the key still? Oh, oh my goodness, that's, I'm sorry, that happens. It, Chief Correspondent Jay Levine is live at the restaurant in River North where the president is expected to raise big bucks for the DNC. Jay. About a million dollars by our calculations, Kate, at two events here in Chicago. The first at Chicago. Obama, Obama is a war criminal and a horror. There is some protesters going on here that were, uh, ooh, just as we are talking. But let's get back to what's really here tonight. Safety, as you know, is paramount. Performer Miley Cyrus dropped yet another bombshell. We are not happy campers. Except this one happened before she even took the stage. I'm a little upset. My birthday's on Friday. This was for my birthday. But the utter shock brought fans like Ashley Shelton <laughs> to tears. I really wanted to see her really bad. Oh, you're going to shoot us? You might shoot us. Do you guys want to talk to us now? Why not? Well, why are you stopping this? Don't even think about throwing that. Come here. Okay, so once again, the squatters are right here. They're about to leave the establishment. Just so you guys know, you're live on television. I wouldn't do that. So, as you can see, they're not the. Uh, nicest neighbors that you want to live next to. We'll show you how firefighters are having to deal with that coming up at 6. Thanks for joining us. Nightly News is next. Well, Jeannie Kristen, with triple digits expected tomorrow, we may, scenes, we may see scenes even more like this. People trying to beat the heat and trying to stay cool. And uh, to, uh, tomorrow, uh, and people... Come on, Ben. Get your shit together. That's all you got? Get your stuff together. That's what I meant to say. Justin Verlander, 
he was just brutal last night. If you watch the game right here on Fox 9, he was not his usual self. Nope. The uh, NHL, uh, well, that's his girlfriend right there, Kate Upton. So let's just get right to it. I forgot to put that in there for you oh, yeah. and for you Randy. You did for me. And, you know, this ah, is his girlfriend. All of the viewers there. This the is SI the cover reason model. why supposedly Justin Verlander did not pitch very well. Um, it's time now for a full look at your forecast with Astrid. Maybe we can canoodle before you get into it about... Um... We're not going to be canoodling. What? <laughs> oh, I thought canoodle meant chat. <laughs> Astrid, you're lucky there's a producer in my ear. I would have I would have carried that on and on. You know what? You just made the blooper reel. Good oh, job, Andrew. Classic, classic. Take it away. Get me off camera. Following the 2010 census, Myrtle Beach's MPO is moving. And of course, people are outside here on vacation, on boats, etc. This is a dangerous... Could see a little bit of rain today, which is great. Um, 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 okay, we have a problem with that camera there. But it's probably still a little bit too early to start getting excited. Tony Abbott still needs to be erect, elect, er, elected first. Um, uh, we need to vote him in before any of this happens. Back to you. I'm Nicole DiDonato, live in East Town, and those details coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a way to start a Thursday, Nicole. She just said, hey, pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> good times in the rain of our You <laughs> are good kidding. Time. It smells ripe in here now. That is uh, not true. We did call the sheriff's office. If you drive into the city, you see that uh, there are lines at the gas stations, the grocery stores. <laughs> If you drive into the city, you see that uh, there are lines at the gas stations. It is really hard to stand up right now. Oh, that's a bitch, the rain is just killing me. For whatever it's worth, I hope I'm making Tebow proud. How many lost children were re reunited with their families over the past 20 years? I have no idea. I couldn't even take a guess. You go ahead and tell me. 76 thousand and all have been reunited they make it they want to make that clear i have a feeling there are going to be a few people who need to be reunited with their friends here at beer fest tonight too <laughs> doesn't want to lose them so there's rivera shagging the balls and b feels like he's not really hitting the ball as well as he wants so he's been using the launch monitor to try to check out the irons since he's getting a little older, maybe not hitting as long, but the combination was great here this week. You really couldn't do this on a PGA Tour range at a normal event. No, uh, I'm chatting too. We'll try to answer your questions. Et cela, évidemment, euh... pardon, excusez-moi. Житло, освіту, відпочинок – цей список досить довгий. Але єдине, чого позбавлені діти, про яких ми зараз вам розкажемо. And Amber is dancing at my screen. <laughs> no, no, but bring Amber back. Bring Amber back. Come on. <laughs> I'm Chris Garrett on Fox 44. A little diaphragm in it that allows the air to, to vibrate. You should try that. Okay. I would love yeah, to. Go ahead. Right. I want to see this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> just, <laughs> nobody's serious. That, don't just, know. that just wasn't right. Oh! Something you might not see, a giant spider on the uh, lens here that overlooks the space shuttle Atlantis. Of course, uh, after a briefing with NASA officials, NASA TV switched to a shot of the launch pad where a spider could be seen walking across the camera lens on Sunday morning. Oh. Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> said I will not be making any comment. Thank you. 
Oh my God, that hurt. North. The moisture from John left over, the spin, the storm itself will turn into a depression. Nothing really to worry about as far as wind goes, but watch where the precipitation will go. Some of it will head up towards the west. That's, that's, uh, that's a little bit. Well, up. if you say it with an accent like that, they I, will sound like square I, I want people to buy me boo. <laughs> we are so sorry. Uh, good morning, America. Man, oh, man. I mean, maybe they should feel this. Feel the pain that we... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Was that, is that, I thought she was joking. I know. Where are my TV? Hey, I've actually been practicing my Ollie. You guys want to see? I've been practicing hard. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Lean over here just for a second, Don. No, further, further. Come on, wait, stick wait. your hand out because it's time to get your pinch. Oh, well. Oops. So uh, much for that. Go on with the way. Next out trying to win the money. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> Okay, I uh, came off the ball, but I'm okay. Las ocasiones más claras de momento siguen siendo para el equipo de casa. It's about 12 pounds, but they can grow to be Oh, son of a bitch. Why is this happening? But I trust that this fan will not curse or swear on television. I'll tell, try. Tell, tell me, though, how does this feel? It really hurts to give up a six run lead. It's tough. It's Jim tough. Bull, that was well, good morning, everybody. I'm hanging out with my friend John. Fox 5 Morning News starts. Look over there. And it starts right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Roll up when you're done with your hundreds. He's stuck. <laughs> Wow, that's great form. All right, roll back up. <laughs> well, that just happened. <laughs> now, a DTE spokesperson says the problems with the gas line were mostly fixed around 4 yesterday afternoon. Workers were able to check most homes by 7 last night. They say all workers were required to leave a note behind explaining why they had to enter the home and lock the door as they left. Mike. Thank you, Tamara. I appreciate that. A lot of police say they welcome some of the panel's recommendations, but money will be a key factor as to whether or not they'll be implemented. But one thing money can't buy is your mama. She's for free and everybody knows it. Robert Gilmart, New Center 7, Sweetwater. <laughs> the former head of the International Monetary Fund is now LAPD free. LAPD Commander Andy Smith tells me tonight that these are cases back from the height of the Manson family crime spree four decades ago. Before we toss it back, we got to go to the Drew, the farm kid. <sighs> How you doing there, Pally? Right now, you know, I know he can't say anything right now, but you know what he's saying right now? E, 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 E <laughs> equals MC squared. Get the camera off my face. I'll take this cantaloupe. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh, Dan, don't I'd make, make a him politician. cry. That's terrible. I love that kid. Way to go, I Dan. Way to make a that. baby boy cry on live television. Way to go. Oh, my God. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm Michael Putney with Channel 10. It's just about. <laughs> okay. With offensive coordinator Tom Clark. With. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys just see that football? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Anyway. Del pueblo Venezuela. Donde nos ha caído una. No más de 20 años. Correcto. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, my God. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Wow. Wow. Oh, hey, there's more. Okay. All, all I noticed was what went in my eye. What, am I supposed to go on from here? Hey, Darren, it's raining in San Francisco. <laughs> it's raining bird crap, if I may say that. What happened? <laughs> oh. oh, he lost. Did you lose something? <laughs> this is live TV. This is live TV. This happens in live TV. Her mic pack just fell off. <laughs> My are claws are coming off. This is crazy. Gonna... Oh. <laughs> Anyway, we had to do his traffic first, you guys. Yeah, should we go to? Tra Let's go to traffic first. Yeah, you, he's hitting you up yourself. against the seawall, and also we're worried about that. There's a shirtless man, <laughs> jogging, wearing a horse 
mask. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Obviously wanting to get a little bit of attention. <laughs> we are obliging him. We are obliging him. Yes, but I exactly. also have to tell you, it's cold out here. I'm wearing all of this stuff and I'm soaked through and I'm cold. This guy is shirtless. Beginning. And so all of the warnings do need to be taken seriously. Of course, power outages could be a problem. That's never a good idea, folks. Action News reporter Catherine Scott just arrived on the scene as she's standing by with the very latest. Catherine. I just lost it again. Beth, okay. Now, if you can only imagine, this interruption happened at the peak of the evening commute. A little bit of what you see here. That's Wyclef Jean uh, giving an interview. He is one of the many surrogates, uh, you could say. Is, sorry? What, who, Wale, excuse me, Wale. Got my artist mixed up. Either way, we've seen a lot of artists. You've seen a lot of uh, surrogates out on the campaign trail uh, coming out for the president. And now you've seen sort of the surrogates come on out, and we can expect this. Uh, we saw a bunch of musicians out on the campaign trail, Bruce Springsteen uh, for the president yesterday, Jay-Z for the president yesterday. And we've seen celebrities, uh, Will I Am, good grief, man, I am tired. It's Will I Am, I'm sorry, I'm mixing up my artists here. Uh, uh, but either way, you kind to of the fact, flag. That meant the start of the school day for most of us growing up. Even as government moves ahead with its billion dollar plan for education, Secretary General of the Samadhamma, I'm sorry, Mahasabadhamma Macharaja Maharaj says First, win the Republican primary against Tea Party favorite and former 2010 U.S. senatorial candidate. Joe Miller. This is a did. They've made sure to go above and beyond to make sure that more than a quarter million people attending are safe. Now, all of the fans, of course, loved watching Cliff Lee and Dominic Brown play today, and how could they not? Jillian and many other fans wanted to congratulate Cliff Lee for his 16th oh, excuse me, 16th strikeout. A little bit of a tongue twat, tongue tie. <laughs> Big black Australop cockerel, one of 500 birds that are being judged today at the show. <laughs> uh, ah! Just focus. Got it, got it, got it. Just got focus. It. Oh my gosh! You gotta warn me of this! <laughs> <laughs> it will be a gradual drying trend for them. Still today, though, significant rainfall on the way. And for our area. So let's. Have, oh my gosh! That was creepy! Oh, of course, he had to be right on my head. Oh, I just don't like that. Okay, I gotta move it. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Oprah. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. Come on, Gordo. Come no, say hi. I can't. Oh my god. This is Helga. Come touch her. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't see it behind me. Some 2,200 passengers are being blown on charter flights from the Bahamas to Maryland with the promise of a full refund and a future cruise. The U.S. Coast Guard and National Transportation Safety Board, sorry, they plan to investigate the cause of the fire. And first on Fox 5 News at noon today, are we going to go to the weather? Is that where we're headed, everyone? We have some technical difficulties here as we begin our Fox 5 News show at noon today. We are going to head over to a live shot of a let's go to Paul Yates who's live now at a murder trial. Paul are you with us? Prosecutors here at the DeKalb County Courthouse described a fast-moving shooting that occurred right. back in 2008 that left two DeKalb officers dead. They said it happened because the defendant in this case did not want to go back to jail. Okay I'm getting my scripts shuffled here. Fox Five's Daryl Carr is live in Athens with more news. Daryl. No, he's not okay. Plus, this is the most famous woman in Florida right now. Oh, whoa. No, you're not. That's Charlie Belcher. <laughs> whoa. 
sorry. Oh, no. Did I come up when you said the most famous yeah. woman in the state of Florida? Uh, I'm sorry. We were, maybe we were talking about your wife. Or the lady behind we, you. We were talking about her. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Flag that. That'll show up somewhere else. I won't want it to show up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Should I keep talking or you want to talk about the I woman? No, you go. You're there now. No, we're talking All about right. the lottery woman, but she's that, talking that's about the lottery you. woman. Yeah. 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 I have once again not hit the lottery. Thank you for that. <laughs> Investigating the allegations of what happened here at Osama or at Bin Laden. Excuse me, at Obama Middle School. Hey, Russ, yeah, it's getting a little rowdy out here right now as the game gets close to being an end, but so much fun. Not exactly, which, all right, somebody's jumping in my truck. I'm going to actually toss to the story right now because I have to run over here. Sorry about that. We had one of our rowdier fans sort of messing with our equipment there, but we're back. We're okay now. We're live at Turner Field. Justin Gray, Fox 5 News. Yeah, a lot of excitement on Cameron behind the scenes there. You get back to doing what you need to out there, Justin. Thank you. C'était donc la nationale ici Alexis Delancer au nom de toute l'équipe. Merci d'avoir été des nôtres. Bonne nuit. Au revoir. Chances by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Thanks for the uh, hard to get applause, Nicole and Kevin. Yes. How's that, Carol? Is that good enough for you? Okay, I'll try a little harder next time. Thanks so much. Ozzy is a father of 12, he has nine grandchildren, and two great grandchildren. Wow. Good for Ozzy. Now, it may be his birthday, but Carol, when it comes to the weather, we want no monkey business, okay? All good things. It's 49 degrees <laughs> in Philadelphia, Nicole. Uh, we have a temperature of 30. I tried. Uh, you, don't, I know, you can't even I know. give me that, can you? Uh, 38 degrees up okay. through the Allentown area. It nearly as great as it will be this weekend, Nicole. Well, Carol, I would say that forecast is bananas, but I know that's going to oh, be please. completely wasted on you. So I won't. Taking it back right now. All right, changing gears, 548 now. Carol, I understand you have some good news and possibly a halo behind you. Possibly a halo. Nicole, of it's course always, the halo. It always comes into question when it, it's you and a halo. And I know, isn't it odd <laughs> that I'm the one always carrying this halo around? Uh, well, we have a beautiful start to the day, Nicole. For our time now, 6.30. Let's get you a check on weather with meteorologist Carol Erickson in the Weather Center. Nicole, Morning, Carol. it's just perfect out there. Breathtaking. It's wonderful. We've Lovely got... like you, Carol. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's how I would describe it. It's me too. Yeah. I knew you would. Nicole. <laughs> Oscar-winning actress Reese Witherspoon has admitted mouthing off to an Atlanta police officer, but now we're actually seeing it. Do you know my name, sir? You're about to find out who I am. I can see you pulling that whole, don't you know who I am? Come on. You said you have out uh, this morning, and it's going to, it, it's fine, it's comfortable. It barely burns the back of my head. But later on today, this is, I'm going to have to step away from the halo, I think, because this is going to be uh, a, a pretty oppressive sunshine. So you definitely need to be careful. Don't go outside. We are watching the uh, yeah. storms. And, and Alex, we're in the dark right now. Yeah, I was just about to say. Chris and Dr. Forbes are out in the Global Forecast Center, and it appears that we've lost power. Hey. Yeah, we, we, uh, we know that the thunderstorms are coming right over top of us. We presume we've uh, had a little bit of a lightning strike. Uh, typically, we'll go to generator power, uh, but uh, we may have uh, had some circuit within the building, perhaps, that control. I, I could see you doing it. Oh, you, yeah, I you could don't see know me at all. <laughs> you don't know who I am. Oh, don't sorry, you know. See? Uh, yes, uh, that, that was an interesting little exchange. I'm sure she regrets, along with that last glass of whatever. So you can relax through Tuesday, Carol. Uh, I think on. you're off the I plan So on. enjoy those few days, Absolutely. okay? Because, you know, by Thursday, the rain, we may need you back. Just saying. All right, thanks so much. Carol, oh, great you, story, right? It's a wonderful story. And these dogs that do so much and serve so well, they've got to be brought back oh, from wherever absolutely. they've served and, and stay with their families. It's yeah. just, it's, it, they're human families. Mm -hmm. All the same. Nicole, do you notice I don't see you anything. Didn't, you didn't no. call any attention to it. I, um, I didn't call attention to it because I know you it's You don't been... see it. It's my <laughs> halo. Nicole. It's been manufactured. Yeah, Let's exactly. just put it that way. If it's awful and you have to call attention to your own halo. <laughs> it's the only way but... you're going to get it. <laughs> That's right. Somehow or other. Yeah, it's Tornado Alley. They yes. named it that, w that way for a reason. But Carol, I'm looking at your shot. And it's just beautiful. Is that a why, halo? Why is this any different? I see. 
Uh, Nicole, you seem surprised every Who time you see this. Who ordered for that Halo? I'm always surprised because you, you and Halo don't exactly go arm in arm. You've seen me in the hallway. This is always with me. <laughs> Everywhere. Uh, look at this. This I is just want you to know that the one. The one about the vagina? <laughs> what do you want to call it? <laughs> Call the, it at all. The coochie okay, coo, is that better? Just <laughs> say what it is. It's just biology. It just seems odd that that's coming out like a regular news story. It seems like. I just did a story about the wig and penis. Yeah. <laughs> well, you you Put your stories together to get some things going on. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chris Matthews helping us do the math there out of Washington. Chris, thank you. Well, Chris Wallace, but close you enough. You know what? Here you see the clouds pushing on, pushing on shore. Significant tornado touchdown. And Andy Rhodes just starting to get a little wet this morning. <laughs> yes, it is, Dave. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Ray, Ray, I'm just going to be over here for a minute. <laughs> What's the matter, Andy? Oh, nothing, John. <laughs> just thinking about a joke. All right. <laughs> kind of, <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, look like you got a little sun. You look a little red. Oh my gosh, to tears already. <laughs> and tissue, Bob. You have... Hold on, big guy. Oh my god. You know, oh, <laughs> thank you. I there appreciate you go. that. Was... All right. There we go. Thanks. All right. All right. Now we're straightening this out. Maybe even a few snowflakes at some higher elevations. 45 degrees. <laughs> this could be the longest three minutes of my day right now. Two minutes. Okay. 60 on Friday. Now we're okay. It's going to be at about 50 degrees. <laughs> I have not been uh, this lost for words in a while. Uh, oh my gosh. What was in the coffee this morning? Who made that pot of coffee? And we are <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish, I wish you guys could be part of uh, the off-air stuff that we do because it's a, a really a lot more fun than what we're doing right now. <laughs> it's a blizzard. You know the commercial? Yeah. yeah, we'll be fine. For a blizzard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got an earpiece. Heck, the dude with the camera scared too, man. Call him. <laughs> we, Call him. Maybe they'll get out of here. We're not scared of you. <laughs> Do you comprehend? I moved from California. I know. Uh, no, you don't know. I moved from California in 2012. My parents gave me this house, and... My son wanted a dog. I bought him a dog, and I was trying to get another dog. It's not like some pit bull dog, run around, get loose. And that little girl will be in the hospital tonight, but it looks like she's going to be okay as far as any charges or anything. Nothing's pending at this point. There still needs to be further investigation, and this is I, actually the homeowner. I we're going to, to we're going to toss you, we're going to toss it back to you in the studio, Randy. I want to ask you if you can find any reports on any dogs being loose from my house or um, being loose and running around or have there is one. There was a dog fight. I got rid of it. He did, and then you know, that was that. There was no discussion about what he needed. Okay. Well, he got your credit card, your bank card somehow, and he got your pin number somehow. Last year, no home away split, but this year, an OPS 65 points lower at home than on the road. So on one hand, getting out of Minnesota would be a good thing, but he simply cannot hit lefties. We've seen this throughout his career. So on a contender, he'd be a platoon player, and that would hurt his value, so you've got to watch out for that. Hang on. What's going on? We lost on? the audio. No. It's, what's shaking? Holy shit. Yeah, what's happening? No, the whole room is shaking. Yeah, the build. Is there an earthquake? Is there a building shaking? Should we get out of go here? somewhere? Wow. Dude, that's an earthquake. That was... I've been in two. That's an earthquake. That yeah. seems to be an earthquake. Yeah, that's an, this is an earthquake. 
A lot of people peeking up over heads there. This is a, this is what an earthquake is, guys. Are we good? I don't know. Holy shit. Did you know that me most of Manhattan is built on landfill? Yes, I do Not know. Not on granite? And if there were like an 8.0 earthquake, then parts of Manhattan would just just disintegrate? Did you know that? I, I did. I'd like to true. not be, be worried about that right now. I'll send it back to you. Ginger, thank you. Coming up, more problems for a troubled Earthquake. Yep, we're having an earthquake. earthquake. Okay, it, it appears to have stopped. Yeah. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump right now Look to the our cameras behind yeah, us. to the U.S. Geological Survey. Uh, the best way to avoid these email scams. Oh, we're having an earthquake here. Whoa, this is a big one. Wow, this is a large earthquake that we just had here at KTLA. Wow. Uh, Goodness gracious, we're not sorry, feeling guys, anything don't know here. If you just felt that down there. In San no. Diego, we just had a pretty decent-sized earthquake here in Los Angeles. Uh, let's get right on that right now. That felt very uh, close. very strong. Yeah, let's very get strong. right on that. Okay. All right, um, Henry, we're going to bring you into this. You can see right now, I mean, we've got stuff kind of here falling. We've okay. got some, cro some uh, sort of ceiling falling from uh, the rafters up here. All right. Wow, live on the air with you here uh, in the tech report. That was... That we was hear everybody in the back and everybody have a okay, Rich? shocks here as well. Everyone seems to be okay, but there was a lot of shaking here in Los Angeles. Um, let's see if we can get a number on that. Uh, yeah, we're that working on it too, trying to get in some information. For six years. It is funny. Whoa. Whoa. Big earthquake. Big earthquake, Big earthquake right now. Big earthquake. That's. Okay. A really strong shaker yeah. right it's now. Very big. You can tell we get. That's a, really a strong CBS2 jolt, and it's still graph right now. This is a quite a jolt, and we can still, who are feel still it. feeling it. Same. Well, we're in for another warm day in the tri-state, but it sounds like some rain is on the way, Byron. Uh, yes, we're hearing some shaking here. It sounds like we have an earthquake here, so I have to check that out here. Uh, I'm just guessing, or maybe we had some brief yeah. gusty one. Yep. Is it an earthquake? Okay, so uh, we're seeing a little shake here. It's not uncommon. We live here along the New Madrid Fault here. We're at 73 and 50, 68 and 44 here. Eight Number five takes us to an accident scene in Charlotte, North Carolina. Four firefighters are hurt after a, fuck a fire truck overturns on the highway this morning. Can you tell us a little more of what you saw? I sure can. I was sitting on my front porch, grabbed a beer, and fuck her right in the pussy. Back to well, that do you live around here? Yeah. Wow, you're super pretty. You want to go on a date sometime? We're on the air live right now on KTLA, awesome. actually. Um the lake here is eight feet low. We're at Captain Cove's Marina. This should all be water. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff is stuck. Now, following her victory speech, Kim asked her and her supporters to say a prayer for Gina Roberson, who remains hospitalized for a stress-related illness. Kim says her and Gina will remain friends and work together in this Harrisburg community. Working for you tonight in Harrisburg, Dave Marcheski, ABC 27 News. Very, very strong. West Press in the mix, North Kapark in the mix. And I think everyone's enjoying just how, how even and how good a league it is this year. How do the Wizards plan to defend him? They defended him pretty well when you really think about it, and ouch, that hurt. Stay off the roads. Um, it's better inside and not driving. You don't know what you're going to run into. You know, drive half the speed limit that you would if you are out on the road, if you have to be on the road. Uh, but yeah, I mean, cars parked in the middle of the road. We're seeing it right here all over, and um, just, you know, dodge that, uh, dodge those cars in the road, absolutely. Apparently, Aaron Hernandez did a lot of traveling there. He went to Miami, he went to California. They are curious to see if any tattoos, new ones, appeared on him at that time, in that time frame. For my tips to help guard your manhood with new Depend, Shields and Guards. Well, your weather forecast today depends. <laughs> Did you see what I did there? Sorry, hopefully you're paying attention to the last you, You've been dying to use that one. Now to the weather. And now, 
Fairly average in the far south, and as you can see, the low single-digit start. Drizzle turns to rain up the coast. Omarau has 12. Click! Wet in the west, east, easing in Nelson this morning. It's cold. Afternoon should be too bad. Ugh. Westport should have a high of 17. Click! Gray old day in the east, patchy drizzle around tea time. Blenheim breaks through. Timaru can only manage what? 13. Click! <laughs> How far back to my clicks? More clicks? Couple more clicks. More clicks? <laughs> clicks? Where are you up to? That's it. That's, That's it. it. Breakfast showers in the lower north, clearing from the capital to Levin this morning, and a bit later in the Naki, northern lies in the Wellington. Windy Wellington. Some drizzle for Gisborne. Click. 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 Oh, man, we got fog everywhere. That's just because everybody was looking at the 24th pythons here today doing the weather, <laughs> and, and I just smoked up the whole room. We're so hot in here right now. But all of us... Whoop, there was my clicker. We are dealing with the intense portion of the cloud cover across the area. Okay, I'm just going to have to bend down and pick it up. Sorry about that, guys. Got a little excited about the rain. My clicker has broken because I dropped it a little violently. Llamado Mujer Divina. De hecho, ya lo anda tuiteando y está además presentando de manera oficial el video que aquí le vamos a les vamos a, a presentar también para que ya lo vean, lo conozcan y lo disfruten. Así que vamos a ver esta colaboración con Emanuel del Real. Eh, Meme de Café Tacuba, ¿les acabo de enseñar mi brasier o ha sido mi imaginación? ¿No? Wow, don't you love how the wind can just change directions like that at the drop of a hat? Anyway, ITD officials say do not drive in this. It is incredibly dangerous. If you do happen to get stuck, uh, pull over as soon as you possibly can. Do not try to keep going. Do not stop in a travel lane. Just pull over to safety, or better yet, just stay inside. The Blues defeating Portuguese side Benfica 2-1 in Amsterdam. How good are the cookies there? <laughs> See, I read everything on the auto queue. It's like Anchorman. <laughs> you didn't check the scripts. I didn't, I didn't check the last one. And I was, as I was looking at it, I was waiting to see some cookies pop up. This is like Anchorman. Keith? Okay. But through the week, there has been a lot of uh, interest in the Gold Suns, and, the and they are going to start favourites. He worked out earlier today. The decision was made that he just could not go, and it was better to let him rest up for perhaps game number six so that he'll be ready for Friday night. But he did have time to, after the game to visit uh, and uh, give us his thoughts. The FBI agents, parts of the terrorism task force, NYPD, converged on that apartment building. Now the media had been knocking on her door since early this morning. Dave Bing! And his man, I mean, and the governor, y'all problem is y'all just sitting up there collecting a check. If y'all really want to run the city of Detroit, come around here in every block of the city of Detroit, look through these houses, if they ain't no good, tear that down so people can stop finding dead relatives in these damn houses and pay these damn Detroit cops what they supposed to earn for being out here protecting the city of Detroit. If not, put my in office. I'll show you how to damn run the city of damn Detroit, and I don't know nothing about it. But I learned quick, fast, and hurt to get y'all sorry <laughs> up out of here and do the right damn thing. That's why the hell the city of Detroit, that's why people don't want to come to the city of Detroit, because y'all sorry <laughs> getting off your <laughs> and doing <laughs> if it was y'all damn <laughs> family members. Y'all to do the right damn thing. So kiss my black <laughs> and get off the office. Bye. Man. <laughs> Man. We caught at T Tell me your name. Oh, my name that was good. is Melinda Brown Duncan, baby. <laughs> now, come find me. I'll show you what better to run the city of Detroit. It's sorry. Ja, und auf Skype hat er müssen ab und an mitfeiern. Das ist Johannes Brandl, ein ausgezeichneter Basketballer und jetzt wieder eben zum zweiten Mal in seinem Leben getauft. Und ab geht's. Pool steht in der Nähe und das wird jetzt anvisiert vom neuen Meister, die Austria Spieler haben. Der Keiner Barmen mit Johannes Brandl. Philipp 
Und er hatte auch beste Sicht. Und jetzt wird ein bisschen geplanscht. Zumindest sehe ich da noch kein Bier und keinen Champagner drinnen im Whirlpool. Fast die größte Überraschung an dieser Aktion. Aber schön, dass wir da auch mitfeiern dürfen, dass da die Austauschspieler kein Problem mehr mit haben. Dass da auch viele Kameras da ist, mit dabei sind. Tolle Momente, nicht nur für unseren Reporter, sondern für alle Spieler, für alle Verantwortlichen der Wiener Austria. Und jetzt geht's wieder bei uns weiter im Studio. Just wanted to ask yes, a few questions. I oh, oh shit. Marie gets set. Oh. Oh. You didn't hear that, I said And takes off her shoes. This is the this we is are this, drama. This is what happens, Ginger. We are getting ready. Mariah. I with this hour. I know. And we thank you for getting up early. <laughs> I don't mean I wake up, I mean I go to sleep. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing for me. That's right. Well, you're oh, creating. Shit. Now the back of my dress just popped. It popped? It popped. I, I love you, Donatella, but it popped, darling. Wait How psyched are you guys to see Mariah dress or no dress? I just dress. wanted to change the ensemble, and I, you know, it's 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 just that <clears throat> this pop is it going to fall? Because yeah, okay, both of them are I'm out now. We right don't there. want to that. This it is, is TV. What should we call this? The Central Park Saga? I, I dare say this is a this ship is one of those thousand foot shitters that. Sh ships that you often will see out in the hall. Just in the last half hour or so, the flakes have begun to stick a little bit on the asshole, ass uh, fault. That so thanks for joining us. Grab a hot car tonight right here on Cairo 7 at 5 o'clock. The police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock. Top cock after a cop. Then as we check the buoy, uh, buoys out shore. If you want to log on to myfoxandwhy.com, you can done. Doctor. Why is on Juan don't beat the cock? Clock right there with a uh, buzzer beater. That's going to do it for Fox 13 News at 9 o'clock. Put cock in, in all the, the magic different. that is Africa. And once you've been there, you'll just want to go back. Mmm, nice pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Something towel, something balls. I mean, boys. <laughs> Baseball, I meant basketball. I got my balls screwed up. That is going to greet us in time for the official fart, uh, start of fall. Supposedly the two bright lights in, in Doc Condom. Well, the CNN political con con contributor is always on time. Simply a lovely winter's day tomorrow. Bucket loads of failure rate, which experts say is a major problem in India. The number of HIV infu infections has been. Excited. Tony Abbott still needs to be elect ele er elected first. Day of 2007. And get ready for more snow, fucks, folks. How much? We forecast all today's news straight ahead in the Fox Live and News. Fucking mother whore. Shit! Johan is one plucky little boy. That mm -hmm. was David Stevenson reported. And put it in his mouth, on, okay. and he'd just kind of sit there like, oh yeah, that feels good. That hits the spot. TV news update. I'm Craig Winston with all the news you'll need in 10 minutes. For our lead story, we go overseas to China, where the Chinese government came up with a new tradition as a gesture of their continual strengthening of relations with the U.S. Out of several million participating American residents, one was randomly chosen to be China's Person of the Year for 2012. The list of potential winners was randomly selected from various internet sources, using only their photo and their first name because of privacy concerns. Yesterday at the official ceremony, China unveiled their selection. On behalf of our staff at KMX TV News, we would like to congratulate Ryan on being China's 2012 Person of the Year. This is the first time in our nation's history and perhaps the history of the world that an ordinary person was nominated to a position of such honor. Once again, congratulations. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more amazing stories on KMX News. Thanks for watching NBC 33 News Morning Edition. The time is 626. Okay, so you know how we ask you to send in your pics so we can put them in our newscast? Well, you've got to see what one viewer claims his friend found at a hunting camp in Berwick. I really don't even know what that is. The guy who sent it in didn't want us to mention his name, but tells us this is totally for real. He says last week and his friend's family found one of their hunting camps destroyed, but the SIM card was still there, and so was this crazy image. I put the pic up on Facebook, and this is what some of you had to say about it. Steven says... Keep going down. This is a computer-generated Photoshop image. 
and it's definitely not real. Okay, the next guy says, bring it up. Those swamp people need to eat some food with those two inch biceps, okay. <laughs> and our next person says, hey, I've got one of that my friend snapped up here in North Louisiana with the same cam. Stance alien girl looking thing floating in the background. So here's that pic. Okay, really creepy, isn't it? <laughs> and we got the music to go along with it. Oh, Brie? That's way too scary. That's way too scary. No way. Especially with it being so cold outside, it already makes the shadows look spookier. I, I mean, I, I just can't even watch scary movies. I'm such a sissy with that stuff. I'm I know. Like, I have to. No, it's not real. But at least we put it in the morning and not at the 10 o'clock show. I mean, that'll wake people, up. I mean, nightmares. I was, at, I was here at midnight looking at that image by myself going, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, the time is 628. Let's talk about something else. Something else. Yeah, something right else.